I think one of the surprises in Thailand over the past five, ten years really is that you do have these bursts of political, political instability. Uh, the economic data basically never shows any blip in response to this. You know, three years ago we had some quite serious uh, trouble in the middle of, of Bangkok. Uh, you basically can't see a trace of this in any of the macro numbers. I think the other thing to remember at the moment is that there's a clear shift in FDI flows away from China and towards the rest of Southeast Asia. And uh, within that, Thailand does seem to be one of the favoured destinations. So I'd be really surprised uh, if this has any material impact on investment flows. I don't think the Thai economy is going to be affected by these riots and even the Thai markets. Uh, if you look three years ago, uh, you cannot see a trace uh, of all of the troubles in the behavior of the, of the Thai stock market uh, three years ago. So at the moment, it has sold off a little bit on a, some degree of risk aversion. Um, but I think it will be very surprising if it becomes uh, any sort of sustained problem for them. Well, I suppose worst case scenario would be change of government or as you've seen in the past 20 years, even some sort of military takeover. I think that's very low possibility because this is uh, a democratically elected government with a very solid majority and they're not up to any of the, um, uh, the controversies that we saw where, when Taksim was in power uh, a few years back. So I think the, the most likely scenario is you have a bit of trouble and then in the end uh, they, they can reach an accommodation, everything calms down. I think the, uh, the, the, the real, you know, if you like, more interesting downside risks seem to be very low probability. I mean, obviously, when there's uh, such negative headlines, it's going to put people off in the short term. But I think the fundamental story uh, for Thailand is still very good. Uh, the stock market is not cheap, but it's not particularly expensive. So I think uh, in, the, in the next month or so, I'd expect people use this as a buying opportunity to pick up some uh, decent companies at uh, relatively depressed prices. I think the Philippines looks particularly good at the moment. They really seem to be benefiting from reform. Um, Indonesia maybe is a little bit overheated and there's a lot of focus on the elections uh, taking place in the middle of next year and uh, whether that brings uh, some version of uh, instability into Indonesia. But I think people investing in Thailand, they know there's always going to be political risk out there. They're, they're accustomed to it and it doesn't seem to have much impact on the overall behavior of the economy. So I don't think it's going to be a big problem for them.